Welcome to dealing with materials data. We are looking at the collection analysis and interpretation of data from material science and engineering. We have done till now 5 modules in R. This is the last module and this is a module of case studies. Specifically in this module we want to do 5 problems uh, using R and we will also introduce uh, some more data sets uh, for practice and training for yourself. And uh, this is also the time for you to take your own data sets which are available with you and uh, do some of the things that we have been doing with the data sets like descriptive analysis for example or trying to fit models for example or trying to uh, get values of uh, um, of mean or uh, the, the distribution of data and things like that. But in this uh, module we are going to do 5 problems. First is uh, smoothing of data which is an important uh, thing to do. So, we will use uh, a typical stress strain data as an example to understand how smoothing is done. We have already done error analysis, but uh, we will see that uh, the ideas of error analysis uh, uh, are useful uh, in other places too. For example, we are going to take the uh, cyanide and uh, hydrogen reaction rate uh, data and uh, we have already done some fitting, but we did not pay too much attention to errors and uh, how to account for errors and how to give error bars on the results. So, we will spend some time doing that. And the third problem is uh, calibration, uh, which is an important thing. We have discussed calibration at the beginning of this course as to how one should keep calibrating and uh, um, keep the calibration information in mind to avoid uh, systematic errors. So, in this uh, module in one session, we will try to take the data from a nano indenter and find out how a calibration is carried out and typical calibration leads to some curve fitting or some tabulation of data. So, we will see how this is done in this context. And you have also learnt about design of experiments. So, so we will take the same problem of nano titania production experiment and do the design of experiment analysis on R using R. So, so, you have already seen the problem, you have already seen how it is done, uh, but we will do the corresponding R session so that uh, you can use similar ideas for designing your own experiments. Finally, we will talk about hypothesis testing and we will use the hall pitch relation and uh, grain size versus uh, strength data for different materials as the case study. And uh, we will use all the uh, tricks and techniques that we have learnt in terms of fitting data, finding out the parameters, giving confidence levels for those parameters and uh, even doing a Bayesian analysis on the data. So, if you already have some data, uh, can we use this prior knowledge to interpret results uh, that we get uh, now. So, these are the 5 problems we are going to do and these are more open ended and you will see that uh, some parts we do and uh, some parts uh, we request you to do. Uh, just to give you an idea that these are things that you can do yourself and you should make it a practice to take different data sets that are available to you and do all of these things and try to understand them. So, this way it will improve your understanding of data, of the material science that you are trying to learn and understand as well as uh, practice for R to do some of these uh, practical problems. So, we will do these case studies one by one in this module. Thank you.